<laughs> hey up! Hiya guys, thank you for your um, patience uh, for in the last few weeks. Uh, this is a QA. and I thought I'd drop some in uh, in between Sorry Nation Street episode 20's two parts. Uh, I apologise again, uh, thanks for your patience. It's just I run a business and it's just relaunching after all the, uh, the Covid shenanigans. So um, I've had so much to do, so I've tried to do Sorry Nation Street in my spare time. Um, so they will be a bit more frequent when things calm down, if they calm down. So, first of all, I thought I'd crack on with questions, because I had some really good questions from everybody. Um, and I thought I'd go with the obvious one to start with, just so I can uh, give myself a base. Um, what made you come up with the idea for Sorry Nation Street was Michael Brock's uh, question. Well, Michael, um, basically, uh, Victoria Lucas's Bugger Nation Street is obviously one that's mentioned in my comments quite a lot. Um, obviously, you've got a preference if you like that one more. That's perfectly understandable, because it got me going on this. Subtle things in Bugger Nation Street made me laugh. It was very unsubtle at times, and that's what's brilliant about it. But just little things. Uh, I love Ken's patronising character. I could never emulate that again. It was such a brilliant idea. Uh, and things like little things like uh, Alan Howard uh, walking into the, the Rovers and uh, asking if there was any buffet left, and Mrs. Walker saying, yes, there is, but it was all made by Mrs. Clegg, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't blame you. Most of it was provided by Mrs. Clegg, I'm afraid. Absolutely, had me in hysterics. And what I've noticed about Sorry Nation Street is people keep finding these little subtle drops of humour in there, which is brilliant. Um, you can tell I've got the same audience, uh, which is the one I'm going for. Um, so, yeah, Bugger Nation Street was a big... Um, a, a big inspiration for me to do this. I loved video editing and dubbing, so I've always wanted to do something like that. Um, I always found the... I did a Carry On film once, and I always thought it'd be good to try and dub one of those, so I did Carry On Abroad, and actually I'm, I'm in the process of completing that, and I will be putting that on this channel. How dare you? Yes, Stanley, you almost saw Nipple. He's doing better than me. You damn shit! This is an outrage! Can't you see my wife's in the raw? Yes, I see, I see! I would give her smashings in the back. Uh, basically, because I could exercise the Kenneth Williams accent, you see. Um, I, that was the only reason I did that one, uh, but it seemed to escalate and I did everybody else's voices. So that sort of merged with Bugger Nation Street as an inspiration to do this. A lot of it's boredom as well, and I'm sort of, like a lot of people, I'm very disheartened by the way TV is going and society is going and how everything's dumbed down and Coronation Street, the, the original, I think is becoming more and more like the absolutely abhorrent Hollyoaks every day. Uh, more of a just a, a drama now to try and uh, drive home political issues and and win awards. Uh, and, and to me, that's not what it was about. It was about working life. Sometimes I just want to see somebody go and buy a loaf of bread and have a chat with the, the guy at the corner shop. I want to see some real working life. I don't want to see drug dealers shooting people and things like that. So, yeah. That, that was the other reason. I wanted to sort of almost parody it as a, as a protest, really. Uh, the I've got uh, my questions written down here, so I apologise for the little delay while I'm reading them. It's not easy to see through these eye holes, neither. Uh, Rob L, uh, what is your favourite era? Uh, mine is late 80s, early 90s. Good time. Um, I, think, I think it started to lose its way towards the, the millennium, but also I think... Um, I think it's best, I, the last time I actually enjoyed watching it was the tram crash in 2010, that whole week I thought was excellent, but then it's just gone downhill ever since then I think. Um, but my favourite era I would say is the uh, the late 70s into the 80s, um, that sort of gap, maybe 75 to 80, 85 maybe, I really enjoyed that, I think it still had so much charm, but that's not to discredit the uh, the earlier years because they were magnificent. I've watched those episodes again and again. They built brilliant characters like Elsie, Ina. Um, the like, even the likes of Jerry Booth and people like that were, were fascinating to watch. Um, and it's also not discrediting the late 80s, early 90s as you talked about because, again, we still had powerful characters in there. You still had Bet, uh, Bet was going strong and Alec Gilroy was always one of my personal favourites. Had the introduction to Kevin, uh, the McDonald's. Just it was it was a fantastic sort of period of time up until obviously it became uh, consumed by the modern world, and uh, it's not a good thing, I don't think. Who is your favourite character to do, Bopper King? Oh, I'd be lying if I didn't say Fred Elliot. Um, that was an impression my dad used to make me do 
in school and at parties and things like that when I was younger. Um, because for some reason, I've always been able to get that deep. Um, and it comes from like right down here. Uh, so I'd have to say he's my favourite to do. I just think he's hysterical. Um, I do have some on the side. I quite like doing Ashley every now and again. I like doing Blanche. I love saying things in Blanche's voice. And weirdly, people have mentioned I like doing Rita. Um, I don't think it's a particularly accurate impression of her, but I think I get certain things and tones right that, that make it um, recognisable. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm, I love doing Jack and Vera. Jack and Vera are fantastic to write dialogue for uh, because they were always so funny. It's great to sort of give people a different perspective uh, on them, uh, even if it is a very crude one. So yeah, those those I'd say are my are my favourite ones to do. But Fred Elliott has to be number one. I think I would be lying if I didn't say that Fred Elliott was like the uh, he's almost the nucleus of Sorry Nation Street. Everything I've got to get him in at some point. I'm gonna do one more question and I'm gonna send this video out and then I'll I'll put another one on after it just so I can get this out rapid fire and I've not got too much editing. Um, uh, YS Goal Three. Don't know how to say that, but uh, again, you're a loyal fan. You can be called what you want. Would I consider doing classic Cory storylines like uh, Rini's Laurie death, uh, Valerie, etc.? Which character or character... Oh, there's a few questions here. Okay, the first one. I, I, I think about it as doing it as a, as a small sort of special or a bonus. Um, I think... I don't want to go back to that era too much in terms of full episodes because I don't want to redo Victoria Lucy's excellent work. And I think, you know, that's already been done. I can do a fresh perspective on it, of course. But uh, I think people said that I did the era this mask i did the era of um the 2000s and that as uh the fact that a lot of people can relate to it because of the you know the viewing audience on youtube at the moment but i would go back i think as a bonus i, I think i've brought a lot enough people in with uh, 2005 2006 so uh, i'd possibly consider doing a few bonus episodes i have put small clips on of ina and elsie i'll just probably expand on that but certainly major storylines will be interesting as long as they're not too tragic uh second question um which character or characters do you most want to do, which you haven't done yet? Oh, that would almost be like giving storylines away. Um, uh, I'd like to do Alec Gilroy at some point. I've never tried his voice. Same with Reg Oldsworth. Again, I've never tried them. They're all work in progress, but I would like to try and get them in. So maybe if I did do any flashback sequences, they would be involved in it. Um, I think in terms of people from the era I'm doing now that I'd like to do... Uh, I've not put Tyrone in yet, but then again, I, I've not tried his voice, so possibly he's one I'd like to, to bring into it. Uh, as you saw from the last episode, I brought Leanne in. Again, I can't really do her voice, but I can certainly make her uh, a lot more interesting than um, she is in the episodes that I'm putting out uh, without the dubbing. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I seem to be covering all the ones that I want to do at the moment. I think that a lot of the ones I'd like to do are ones from the past. Uh... What made you pick the Cory era? Uh, because, like I said, I think somebody mentioned it in the comments. People can relate to 2005, 2006 uh, because it's it's close enough to remember and though some of the characters are still there. Uh, I think if I go too far back, um, people stop relating to it. I'm just going off the audience. But I think if I do bits of, of classic clips in between what I'm doing, it gives people an, an appreciation for what's been before. So I chose this era because it's kind of neutral. Ah, you said who's your favourite to do as well. Well, in that case, I have already answered that one, so I will go to one more question before we uh, we go to the uh, interval, shall we say. Uh, let me just check. What's the next one? Ah, there we go. I Ian, how do you do Chesney's voice? You'll be not surprised to hear that I do drop, uh, drop and raise the pitch on certain voices because it's absolutely impossible unless I have these hacked off for me to do... Um, very high pitched voices like a young Chesney or you know <laughs> and certainly Ashley's I've got to raise the pitch on but as long as I get the accent right with those characters I think uh, it gives me leeway to, to hire and, and drop the pitch in accordance um, it's the accent really and it's the relatable words I think certainly with Ashley anyways now if you get that Manchester accent right you know then you've you can uh, you can play around with the pitch and nobody will care so that's my questions for now. Uh, any others you want to drop in the comments below, I will I will do my best to answer them. Uh, but thanks for watching the first bit of the Q&A and I'll do my best to, to get the rest of you 
uh, to see, uh, to get the rest to you uh, later in the day, I would hope. Got a bit of work to do, but enjoy this for now. Cheers, guys. Thank you.